Yo, what's up, guys? This is um, your boy BTWM Diffusion um, here with you today for a um, not a video I usually have, but this is a video about um, about my ninja diffusing classes. And before we get any further into this video, can you please smash that like button for me? You know, it just helps out so much. That'd be great if you guys could do that. Well, let, let's get um, to it. Well, as you can see, I'm only level 38 because I haven't really been trying to level up lately after I reset. Um, I didn't get reset. I reset myself because I kind of got bored at Prestige Master. But um, we're going to go ahead and go to create a class. So, as you can see, I still only have five classes, but I have one ninja diffusing class right here. And I'm sorry, I'm if it sounds like my face is away from the mic I'm trying to move this cord uh, but um, right here my ninja class as you can see there's no primary nothing 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 okay so um and oh I unlocked this too but go, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I usually use for a ninja diffusing class now this class is kind of all around uh, all around class kind of you can statue you can lay down in the grass with it um, you can also you know I guess do whatever you want you know hide wherever you want but that's just an all-around class now I don't have some of my other classes because um, I've been using other weapons I only have five classes and I have these class sets but I really don't use them um, I have extra class sets um, but I'm just gonna for this video I'm just gonna do the just the all-around class you can use pretty much anytime you know just for anything so we're gonna get into it let's let me stop talking and get into it okay so as you can see like I said there's no primary and then usually secondary I usually have ballistics or I've been using ballistics lately cuz I actually kinda like them um, and they're small and I'm not sure when you hold something if it goes on your back or not kind of like other things do like um, you know secondaries like smalls and stuff like that that's why I don't use primaries because it, it's you got a big gun on your back and it can end up giving you away um, but I usually only carry a secondary and when I do if I don't use like a, um, a ballistic knife I'll use um, dual world sevens which I have not used in a long time um, as you've probably seen if you watch my videos, you, you probably watch um, people like KYR Speedy and the crew in general. Um, well, you know, Deluxe 4, he had the series Playing Dead, and he would use the dual wheel 5.7s. And that's kind of what I would do, but also, you know, they're small too, and they work. You know, when I, when I use like a tactical to hide, when I'm holding a tactical or something like that, they don't show up on your back too much, like a big... PDW or something like that or a big small okay um, let's get over to the perks now as you guys may see I do not have ghost and it's not because I don't have it unlocked it's because I don't use ghost when I ninja diffuse you know people think oh you know why aren't you using ghost well see the thing is is that I've had I've been okay think about it this way you ghost only works when you're moving around when you're sprinting so if you're lying down in a ninja diffuse spot and they put a UAV up unless they're stupid they're they're gonna find you there's you know no point so I mean and usually when they put a UAV up anyways I'll just run around cuz I you know I know I'm gonna get seen but I I've, I you know I thought over this a while and I have found out that the best one is blind eye because you know I've always I've been in uh you know not in a while because I always use blind eye now but um I used to get hit with like hunter killers and all kinds of aircraft all the time you know when I'm trying to ninja defuse when you're staying still and it's 
it's crazy because it's like, man, you know, you, you get so close to ninja defusing and then the hunter killer comes up behind you and hits you. And that's pretty much the reason. And I know Ghost, you know, it works while you're defusing the bomb and stuff like that. But, I mean, you're probably not going to get to that point unless maybe they get a UAV while they're planting it from the points. But I've never really had problems with that because by that time, I've already defused it. But that... I know I'm, this is probably going to be kind of a longer um, commentary right now. Wait up. Give me one second. Something's wrong with my... Okay. Sorry. I had a call coming through Skype. I just don't want you guys to hear that in the background. It's unprofessional. But um, I know I'm kind of getting to the reason with that. I just knew I would have a bunch of comments saying, Why don't you use Ghost? It's the best. Yada, yada, yada. Well, you know, you can use whatever you want, but I use Blind Eye and it works out great for me. Um, and let's go down. Perk 2, Gold, Cold, oh, I can't talk today. Cold Blooded is probably the, um, the most important perk in this, in all of Ninja Diffusing. Um, because if you didn't know, you know, it's resistant to targeting systems, including dual band, target finder, sensor grenade, MMS, and player controlled aircraft so it's it's basically assassin pro and mw3 you would hide from the uavs it's pretty much everything that assassin pro does except hide from the uavs so i mean this is that's why that's you know that's probably the best one and then right here the reason you saw me unlock dead silence a couple minutes ago is because what i like to do um i like to I like to do this where I have extreme conditioning and dead silence because I've I've had too many times and see the reason I know this type of stuff because I've done it by trial and error because I've been ninja defusing for a very long time it's just I only started doing putting ninja defusing on my YouTube for a very short time of the time I've been doing it so I've just learned from trial and error you know and the thing with extreme conditioning I told you I usually only carry a secondary well, if you guys didn't know, if you have extreme conditioning, and if you have lightweight, that's even better, but, you know, I don't worry about the lightweight part. But if you if you have extreme conditioning, and say you only have, like, a secondary or a primary or whatever, and you have a slot open where you can pull out your combat knife, you can pull that out and you will run farther than running with a weapon with extreme conditioning. So, and somewhat faster. I think that's really what lightweight is for. It seems like it helps you get faster, but just farther and it helps me get to my spots and then dead silence i use because i i don't know how people sound horse so badly but i mean i've gone up behind people you know and they say oh crouch down they can't hear your footsteps i've gone up behind them and i'm crouching and there's no way they should hear me and they just magically turn around you know, oh look, there's a person behind me. I hear his footsteps, and kill me. And it, and you know, I've always made sure I've looked at the kill cam, wondering maybe he saw me through the corner of his eye or something, corner of the screen. No, it's he heard me. But um, let's get down to the lethal. Now, like I said, this is an all-around ninja diffusing class. Just kind of, you can do statuing, all kinds of stuff with it. Lie in the grass. But right here, the reason I have the lethal um, combat axe is for statuing. Um, and then um, let's get down to tactical. I I like um, black hat better than any of these because I'm not sure if if this has happened to any of you guys, but I've I've been in several lobbies where there's a migrating host and you're in your ninja defuse spot and. Um, and if you don't know what happens when that happens, if you're in your ninja diffusing spot and say you're holding like a concussion or anything else except a black hat, it, it sets it down, you know, like in tactical insertion in that, um, with the tactical insertion, it sets it down and luckily enough, you can still get it. But you know, sometimes that person might be right, right around the corner and might see you and you might not be able to get down in time, but black hat unlike everything else black hat goes back into your inventory or in whatever you want to call it it, it you keep it basically 
Um, that's why I like to use it, and also it works great. It works just as good as a concussion, and I've just found out because I've been in set a let's just say a lot, a lot of lobbies where they migrate host, and then I'll be you know I'll stand up. And I've had it happen where they migrate host twice, so I lose all my tacticals and stuff like to hold. So I'm stuck there with a knife or something else. And I mean, you can just use a combat knife, but it doesn't look as good. It doesn't hide you as good. So I think, you know, I think you guys, it would be best to do black hat if that ever happens to you. I mean, it happens to me a ton load. Um, is that even like a... Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> but, um, and that was it for today. And I don't know. I might make this a kind of a series. Maybe, you know, this was the all-around ninja diffusion class. Maybe I can put up a, you know, trap, like riot shield trap one, or salt shield, excuse me. Um, still stuck in MW3. But, um, I'm saying um a lot, dang. But, so, yeah, this was, I'm sorry I couldn't get a better video up today. Not a lot of people are on. A lot of people that I do the Ninja Diffuse spots with and stuff like that aren't on right now. I don't know why, but I thought this would be a good thing since a couple people have asked me to do this. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace out. This is BTWM Diffusing.